Okay, so Ultimate Chip 5, episode 25. Uh, yeah. I went back and beat this level. It turns out, I looked in the editor right after I got done recording the last video, and there is a teeth in the uh, lower right corner of the map. And it was, in fact, visible from, uh, from, wh from where I was. In only certain places, though. So, while it was visible, yeah, it was it is technically considered fair, but because it was just, just at the very edge of the map, like, right here, these two tiles right here, I still wouldn't call that fair, and Jeffrey himself said he didn't know why he put that there, but... Or he should not have put it there, but it is what it is. I still had fun with the level regardless. It was actually a lot of fun to play. So, and it definitely was did feel like a level I've made because the walls are in fact from a level I've made in early Josh Hill 5 called Our Door is Always Open. So, yeah, very good use of the walls. I didn't expect a level of mine to be used as walls, but whatever. Okay, anyway, new territory. Solitary Refinement is our new level that we're playing. And let's see what we got going on for us. So it looks like we got ourselves a little puzzle. And a nice little 6x6 six six room. So let's just clone two. Because why not? Two is a good number. That will give me access to this yellow key, which I do need. And... Uh, let's see here. Okay, they're just going to die in the water now. Oh wait, I can just use the block to get out. I don't need the fireball. Or do I? Over. I do need the fireball. Okay. I guess I could have saw it from here, but... Oh well. So level 129, huh? So after this, I will only have 20 levels left of the set to beat. To beat. Which is actually pretty nice, actually. I feel like I've progressed through the set fairly well for what it, is, for what it holds. Okay, so how exactly am I going to get a fireball in there when I need to get the red key, yellow key first? Okay. I think I see how to do it. It kind of involves... Oh, I should not have grabbed that. Oops. Okay, I, I get the idea of it. It's not that bad. Just don't grab stuff early. Because the problem with this setup, okay, you're going to turn right anyway. Is this right? Yes. Okay, so that room's done. Now we have ourselves a little slow mo section. Over. That I re died in pretty stupidly. Oh, let's get the yellow key first. Over. And I guess cloning s is stupid. Over. Uh, I'm rushing this now. I don't know why. Over. 
<coughs> okay. Oh, Mike Suggs is now playing XCOM 2. For those that don't know, that is the guy who was LPing Josh L6, but gave up. Oh, I forgot to. Un I'm making stupid mistakes now. Come on. Uh. Okay, unlock this first, and then get everything on the way out. Okay, hopefully that blob blob will go in a different space. Okay, and that ultimately gets rid or stops the toggling. Okay, so I know not to go up. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, that wasn't too bad. That room's actually kind of easy. Okay, get these guys in a cycle. Wait for the ball to be right in front of you. And then follow the ruby ru ruby road. And remember, when in doubt, don't get a bo don't get a boot. Okay, so it's just a consistent path, I'm, I'm assuming. Okay. Okay, I, I think that was right. I don't know for sure. Okay, this will give me, assuming those are horizontal, which they are. Hmm. Oh, uh, was I, I was supposed to use one of them for the... Well, maybe I'm not screwed. Maybe I'm not. And I get, I see I, I get to go on the border. Okay, I'm gonna unlock that. Because... Something tells me that ball is supposed to go in there instead of what I what I thought was supposed to go down there. Okay. So I kind of have a glacier brick road part, except I got flippers, but I don't see what to do. Can I get? Oh, I can't get out of that. Okay, I, I'm assuming if I go up there, I, I'm stuck. Huh? Did I get the flippers too early? I... Okay, that is to the bomb. Okay, I guess I hit the button, or got the boot too early. I'm pretty sure the flipper was elsewhere okay got th I got through that a lot faster than what I have been okay get in the cycle thank you Okay, so what I thought I had to do was I could get a block down here, actually, and get that chip. But maybe I'm not supposed to do that. Because that does indeed blow up that bomb. The problem is... What is the purpose of that door, if that's the case. 
Because I can get the green key if I push a block down there. Because this red lock tells me I can, I can do that. So does it matter? I'm just going to go about it the way I have been until I'm proven wrong. So, make of that what you will. Yeah, I got that. Oh, I skipped. I forgot about that. Okay, so I could have skipped the, the flippers. I just didn't take the right recess wall path. Okay. So, this part of the level is kind of oddly shaped, or oddly placed, rather. Okay. Oh, I thought you were going to go straight for the bomb. And you did. Okay, so I don't know what these other blocks are for. Okay, I can get the green key anyway. Okay. Oh, there's a thief under that. Okay, I assume I want to hit this button. I'm not sure what this block is for, to be exact. Oh, it's another one of these color wheel things. I appreciate that this is used. That device needs to be used a lot more often than what it is. Okay. So far, we're making some progress. I'm expecting the levels to be a little harder than what they have been, since I'm 20 levels close to the end. Okay, there's three bugs, and it looks like they're on a pretty straightforward path, so let's just make a new one. Okay, I cannot do anything else. I have to push that down. So I have a little Soko ban. Um, I'm kind of not a fan of the fact that it's late in the level. Because I can easily mess it up. But at the same time, there's not a lot of options I can do with this. I don't know what's under that block, though. So that, that kind of scares me. Um, I'd like to think I know the solution to this, but I don't think I do. I'm probably wrong. Okay, there is nothing on there, so I can loop around. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Alright, solitary refinement. I'm getting close into the blue wall. Nice little dead end there. Got me. Okay, I have two red keys now. Which allow one allows me to go in here. The other one allows me to do this. So is this the end of it? Sort of. Uh, what is this about? Am I stuck? Am I seriously stuck? I really went in this early. Okay, what? Really? Really? 
I think there's a blob stuck on that teleport now. Okay. Oh. Well, I did like the level. That kind of... Well, I still like it, but <sighs> that kind of messed up, messed up, made me dislike it a little bit. But it is what it is. Thankfully, I know how to solve that Soko ban. Blob is now down there. Okay. Okay, so what is the purpose of that? I don't even need that blue lock, do I? I'll still leave the trap open just in case, but I don't think I need that lock. Okay. Oops. Okay, I just need to hope that this one actually destroys it. That's nice. Okay, so I don't know what, the, what these blocks are for. Maybe they're trapped. Maybe... Okay, yeah, I'm glad I did that. Okay, I, okay, there's nothing under that. I'm not even going to mess with them. Pretty sure that's the only thing I need to do. Okay. Oh, there's a chip up there. That's why I have to go up there. Alright, so this isn't that bad. It's actually not that bad of a level. It just took some time to get through it. Especially since this soak band's a lot easier tonight. Anticipated it to be. And I kind of remember how this layout was. Okay. Yeah, I, I can get through this a lot faster than what I did. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That was actually a pretty quick solve, considering. Alright, solitary refinement is done. That was a level that I liked, but I wish I didn't mess it up at the end like I did. But oh well. Alright, crumbling jumbled bramble. So, this looks like it's going to be a Soku Man. With some different stuff out here. Okay, level 130. So now that we're in the 130s, I'm going to make the assumption that everything is going to be a lot more difficult now. Like, not a lot more difficult, but more in the lines of, like, oh wow, this is more, this is harder than I anticipate it to be. But who knows?
there I imagine there will be some breather levels in this portion of the set. Maybe one or two, maybe three. Oh, those are on blue walls. Okay, I think I see the, the gimmick here. It's get the blocks to the teleports and they all go to that Sokoban part. Okay, that seems simple enough. So this is just a maze with I need to get through with water first. I think I got it. So yeah, the progress of this LP, 25 episodes in, I have to say I'm thoroughly impressed with myself that I've managed to get this far into the set without... Um, I'm going to do that last. Without, well, well, not without, but okay, this is just an ice maze. That was incredibly easy. Like, okay, stealing, like, keeping the ice boots because MS rules. Okay, this is just a thin wall force for maze. But yeah, 25 episodes in, I didn't expect to be where I am with the set. Like, honestly, 25 episodes in, I figured I'd be, like, in the 110s, 100s, maybe. But the first half of the set was a lot easier than I expected it to be. And... Now it's the Soka Man part. Okay, I have to stop for, start from the top first. Uh, does it matter if I get the blocks in there right now? Does it matter? I can get them out if necessary. Since there's thieves back there. Which it looks like I'm going to have to do that. Well... Okay, this block just stays up here because I can't I can't get it down here by any means. And the same thing with that. Okay, this is gonna be a little trickier. Well, not not really. Be a little tricky. Just a little tricky, but nothing too, nothing I can't handle. Okay. So get that down there, and then go back around, push that. Push that. Okay, hold on a second. I'm a little bit of a trouble zone. Um. Huh. Okay. And since these are double thin walled, I can't flick them. So that's that. Or wait, hold on. Wait, I'm, I already messed this up, didn't I? I have to get three down there. I thought I, I thought I had three down there. Did I not take... Oh, I guess I didn't take the second one down there. Oh, crap. <sighs> so, honestly, I mean... Yeah, I can't do nothing with, I can't do nothing. I have to st start over. All right, you got me with your shenanigan, even though that was my fault.
So, I like the idea of this level. Though... I mean, at least the mazes are... are easy. They're not overly complex, like they could have been. See, when I can... when I criticize levels for anything, I usually keep in mind on... on just how bad they could have been. Like... Like that that especially goes with tedious levels. Like there's some levels out there that have more tedium than others. For example, uh oh, one of Jeffrey's videos. Uh I guess I think he talked about one of my levels up the upcoming attack was tedious. Whereas something like same game or I don't know. Um, just some Sokoban, overly complex Sokoban level. Like same game or color wheel. Okay, we'll use color wheel for as, as the example. Oh wait, did I push that block? No, I have to do it to do the open state. But anyway, I mean, when I compare tedious levels, I, I always keep in mind that they could have been more tedious than what they are. And I know it doesn't really apply to a lot, but it still applies. I mean, it, it, I can't really explain it well. Okay, can I get this right on my first try again? This ice maze is ridiculously easy, though. Like... I honestly don't like how easy that ice maze is. Especially for 130. I mean, it could have been a little harder, but that's 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 me nitpicking, and I shouldn't do that because I don't like nitpicking. Okay, I see what I did wrong. I pushed that block. I, I put the block right here, but I accidentally pushed it up. I was meant. I should have pushed it down. So that was completely my fault. My mistake. My everything. Problem is, I need to get this block. Uh, let's see. Let's not mess this up again. The last thing I want to do is mess this up again. Okay, I guess something like that, even though it was kind of the same way. Oops, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, that doesn't screw up these blocks. Thankfully. I appreciate that the, that thieves are on the other side and not pop-up walls. Pop-up walls probably would have made this impossible, actually. Okay, I think I see what I need to do now. I'm, I'm making sure. Okay, push this block down there. Get the block right there. Okay, no, that's not correct. That is not correct at all. Uh, I need to get better at taking that thing off the screen. Okay. Something like this. Maybe? Um... Okay, I, I, I think I got it.
All right, there we go. Crumbling jumbled brumble was, or bramble, bamble, bramble, something was done. Great level. Uh, a little, just a little, 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 pe or little tedious. But not, not that much. I, it's, I, I, I can't express that enough. It's not that tedious. I, I have played a lot more tedious levels than that, and that does not compare, this does not compare to anything I've ever played. So, the mazes, I wish the ice maze was a little bit more difficult than what it is. It's, it's incredibly easy. I mean, I got through that pretty quickly t twice. So, it's not a bad, being too easy isn't a bad thing, but... I don't know. It's. I guess I expect it to be a little harder than what it was, considering this is the 130s now. So I guess I expect it to be a little harder. But again, that's that's just a, that's a nitpick, and I shouldn't be nitpicking because I'm being a hypocrite by doing so. But whatever. Just it doesn't matter. So manual override. So these later episodes, they're probably not going to cover that many levels, unfortunately. Maybe three at the most, depending on whenever there's going to be a breather level. I imagine, I imagine there's going to be a breather, breather level or two around this area of the set. If not, the most levels I'm probably going to cover per video from now on will be two. Because they're taking a little bit longer to solve, and I don't want to have over 40 minute videos every single time because I realize people have stuff to do and they don't want to listen to me talk about random stuff, yada yada yada. And probably more cut, more uh, video cuts are going to be made if, if I do mess up late in the level or something. Like I could have done that with solitary refinement, but I chose not to because it did not take that long to get back to where I was, despite it being at the end of, end of the level. So. Uh, which, that will wrap up this video. Only two levels, which both of which were, were fine. They were fun. I don't know if, I think one of them was submitted for CCF before. I don't know about, uh, the crumbling jumble level. But, uh, I know the, I know Solitary Refinement was. And that def that does get a recommendation from me. Yet. It was fun. And, uh, Yeah. Well, that's about it. I'm going to stop talking and probably record another video here. So, bye. Later. See ya. Good riddance. Not really. Whatever. Bye.